I've just tasted a lineup of 25 vintages of the Joseph Moda from 1987, my very first one, to the brand new 2012 vintage. And well, for me, it's been a very, very nostalgic journey tasting these wines. Um, my whole winemaking career uh, laid out in front of me. So, you know, it's been, it's been quite emotional. And, uh, you know, it's just lovely to see some of those early wines, which I don't open very often. And, uh, I mean, it was just great to see that they're, they're all very much alive. I mean, that 1987, that first one, had dried out, but there's still some really lo lovely life in that wine. And it's just lovely to see the way the wines have aged. And uh, the more I try these wines, the more I really like this whole idea of drying the grapes before we crush them to make something special. Uh, as the wines age, they all had, you know, an underlying richness and just a lovely almost caramel raisiny character but it wasn't too over the top either so uh, it's just lovely to see how they're all aging well and um, it's been a thrill to see that you know the motor seems to turn out like a, a mixture of three reds like the, the best bot the best vintages are a mixture of that Australian generosity and the concentration you get from drying the grapes. But there's a lot of Bordeaux in the wines. There's a lot of cigar boxy, sort of cedary characters coming through. And, and then to my surprise, there's almost like a, an Italian wine character and an earthiness and some really interesting sort of forest undergrowth characters that I see in great Italian wine, like a good Brunello. So that in each one of these bottles, that they seem to have have this amalgam of all three wines and uh, the, the best vintages are just really, really special. And I've picked four of my top wines that showed up at this particular time in 2014. The, the 1991 motor, the 1994 motor, the 2004 motor and that lovely 1998 motor. They're, they're not the richest wines in the lineup. Um, I mean, you know, the 1992 and 1993, the 1996, and, you know, going up onto the 2007 and 2012 motors. I mean, they're, they're much more dense and richer expressions of the style. But, these four vintages that I've chosen, they, they just seem to have a poise and a balance and an elegance and they show everything that really I dreamt of when I first started making this wine and they're, they're just looking fantastic now. Um, it, the, the, more I, the more I try this wine, the more I like, like it. And, uh, more, I love this technique of drying the grapes. Cheers.